okay everyone now we are on the part two here where we will set our project so real quick we will just launch android studio and come back to this screen where we have to choose empty activity and we can name this flag game and obviously here you have to choose kotlin because we are starting our first project on this channel in kotlin language and as this is building i'll just maybe yeah try to pause the video so it like you don't have to watch the boring parts okay i believe the okay it's still building the app but anyways yeah it's completed so first of all what we will do is we will just go to our module build.gradle file where we will enable data binding and we, what we will also do is we will add dependencies for navigation so you can either go to google to find the dependencies or just type them Okay, let me just find the dependencies. Okay, there we have it. These are two dependencies that are important for the navigation. It's pretty much the same because I have made so many videos about the Android Jetpack. Uh, but obviously the syntax is a little bit different in Kotlin but once you start using it you will get used to it and this is for the arguments that can be passed among the fragments now what I want you to do is go to the project project file of build.gradle and paste this because this is also needed for passing the arguments or passing the values among the fragments so now this is building and uh, this should be finished and what I want to do is I'll be reusing my layout from the previous tuto uh, previous project of mine. So, you know, if you are not a beginner, then obviously it would make a lot more sense to you because this is a little bit advanced. But if you are not, then I will also explain how the layout is operating. So first of all, what we will do is We'll just create Android resource file in the rest folder and we will name it navigation. And here from the drop down menu, you have to choose navigation. And we can give this navigation graph name. So once this is done, what I'm going to do is I will paste uh, two layouts that I need but obviously uh, I will explain that uh, how those layouts uh, are made okay so just give me a second uh, I want to find those layouts uh, yeah so what we'll do is we will just create uh, fragments where we can first of all we can create a package and we can name it as screens so you know it's it's more like readable and robust 
so this is a game package another package what we will need is score and the last one is going to be the title title is like I'm just using this word for like the first uh, fragment that you see when you when after you enter the name and all okay so what I'll do is I'll just create a fragment here which is blank and what we'll do is we'll just say title fragment we can also create a score fragment and we can create a game fragment okay we have got our screens and to clean it a little bit like once the build is finished we can just delete this so you know it's more clearer and more readable and here we will also just delete this we will also go and do the same because this is not necessarily a necessary code but we don't need this for this project so we'll just clean it a little bit this give us this will give the give us like better readability otherwise if you are new then you see all this and you get confused so okay now what we have to do is uh, try to like you know create the uh, layouts so so what I have done is that I have added some code to my title fragment where we have a linear layout which is fairly like simple and uh, we have a text view we have a welcome and we have some text input layout or you can say added text this will help us to create a validation that if you enter your name you can go and play the game and we'll get there and also what we need to do is we will need to like add the drawable photos so maybe i can just look up on google and like download uh, a nice background okay i have to maybe bypass this okay okay no we'll just use the old one even though i don't want to but you know so there are so many resources that uh, maybe you will be able to download from the github and uh, right now i'll just paste all the resources into my project and it's been a while to make a tutorial so after a long time i'm doing this so yeah bear with me um yeah so i'm going to add these all the photos that we need in my drawable from the project yes so now i have added and this the error should go away yeah 
so now it's visible and what we will do is we will similarly add more layouts so for the game fragment I would need this layout where we are seeing options and just give me a minute hold on I'll just explain all the all the necessary details so to enable data binding we have to first keep all the view groups within the layout tags yeah so here what we have is scroll view scroll view means if you are going to scroll then the submit button is going to be visible and again it's a simple linear layout and obviously here it's a bit of a bit of an error but we can just uh, add a new color here with the, in terms of text this all can be fixed there's nothing to worry about okay yes so here we are okay and now what we have to do is the last fragment where we have the result and that I will also uh, like take the layout and first of all I'll just create the layout tags so what we are seeing here is the layout for the result fragment okay this is also a linear layout and there is not, nothing much that is going on here. I'll just correct this ID. Okay. That's great. And we can maybe change it a little bit and make it look better. But this is what we have done. But what we can do is how do we bring this all if we run our app right now? Maybe I'll, let's try to do it. What we will see is only hello world. How do we display all these, all these fragments on the front page, right? So that is why we are creating a navigation graph where it's a, it provides a navigation path to our uh, application. Yeah, so the Gradle is still building. Um, what I'll do here is I'll just go to the navigation graph and so these are these fragments what what we are seeing here and obviously there is some error uh, where we have to move this about the layout tag and even the fragment title has to come under data binding so we can enable it ahead of time okay and let me just check score fragment okay it's here save layout okay yeah Okay, now we should be able to build our app. Okay, our project has successfully been run and let me see if it launches on the emulator. Yeah. So, okay, yeah. We are seeing hello world, but how do we display our desired fragment here, okay? 
and we'll just try to close this tutorial within 20 minutes so right now we are at 15 so what we do is here we go to navigation graph and here we will define the path so first fragment is we need is title fragment and if title fragment is like done then we should go to the game fragment and then once we finish playing game then it should go to score fragment so we'll just create these paths but if we are on a score fragment then it should not go back but it should restart the game so there where we restart the game we re, we play or restart the game in the first fragment right so that that is that path for going back and the reason this is not a, a preview is not available is because of some uh, I think I removed the tools attribute here that is why but no worries what we'll do is we'll just come here and we'll delete this text view so that's how we will host our navigation graph here fragment match parent match parent nav graph is okay default okay I default map course true and the name is going to be Android X navigation dot fragment make sure to spell this right nav host fragment and we close the tab and let's try to run the app hopefully we'll be able to see our title fragment usually what happens is that we see the views here also we see the display of our layouts but obviously I have copy pasted the XML code so some attributes are like missing or something that is why it's not visible here so okay so the build has successfully uh, run and like we'll see if so our app is crashing and there should be some reason we'll just check in the logcat why our app is crashing okay let's close app mm. okay unable to start activity Android view okay yeah so what we have to do is we have to go here and obviously the main activity is also using data binding I think it should and also we have to inflate our layouts So, yeah, once we enclose our full view groups in our layout, it will create wall binding.
it will automatically generate this binding class for us that we can set content view this r dot layout dot activity main and also this can this is no longer necessary and we have to do all the inflation of uh, layouts via data binding but uh, just for now we'll just do only for wall binding fragment title binding because obviously we had uh, enclosed our layout of title fragment into the layout text so binding is here data binding inflate inflator is from the layout inflator class okay return binding dot root and that's all so what is happening yeah late in it i think ensures that we don't have to add here the null pointer uh yeah to create the safety so anyways we'll just read on our app and we'll see if we are successful okay we are getting error again let me see what's the reason unable to start activity Android view inflated exception binary XML file 11. Okay, let's see what could be the reason of navigation graph is here. Did we close the tab? Yes, we did. Mm. Some sort of an error, but we'll just figure it out. Well, I'm like still uh, checking my layouts and we'll see. Uh, what is the issue here? Okay, it's about to run. Let's see. Okay, great. So yeah, this is where we are at that we can see our title fragment because this was the layout and uh, what we can do if we don't want this action bar here is we can go in our values go to the themes and what we can create is we can create same theme but we can name it as no action bar And we can go to our manifest file. This is just extra. Orientation should be portrait. And theme should be style. No action bar. And if we rerun our application, then it, it gives us like the full fledged uh, screen that looks more beautiful.
and let's see now okay so now it's making use of the full app and if you want this to move a little bit like upwards once the keyboard comes out then we can add this window soft input mode in at just resize and now you'll see the difference here because this pushes the screen upward okay so let's see okay th the screen goes up right so for now i'll just do a quick review what we have done is that we have added our dependencies we have added our layouts the layouts are just linear layouts and we have created these uh, parts where our uh, uh, how main activity is going to deal with this and we are displaying our title fragment first and then we go to the game fragment it's it's pretty like simple if you have questions you can leave in the comment and uh, yeah, what I'll do is I'll see you in the next one where we will just start to work on the title fragment. Thank you.